Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Kelmi here. If you have reached level 21 and above, you will be able to unlock your new skill, which is to buy Pao Cha with credit card. Or maybe you just want to get a credit card so that you can show off to your friends that you are a real adult now. Or if you are like me, you just want to get a credit card to enjoy tons of rewards and free money. But when you start searching for credit cards, you will realize that there are so many credit cards out there and you don't know which to choose. All of the cards have their own stats and effects, just like the items in LOL. If you bought the wrong item, you may lose the game, or even worse, get scolded by your teammate for being a noob. But don't worry, in this video, I will show you my top 5 credit card picks. I will show you all their stats, what's their special properties, what's the sign-up bonus, and in what situations should you choose these cards. That's a lot to talk about, so let's start right now. Number 1, UOB1. On the outside, this card may seem simple with its metallic white look. But my mom used to say, don't judge a credit card by its cover or something like that. UOB calls this card Singapore's most generous rebate card on daily spend. And yes, this UOB1 card is one of the best cards out there for most people. In fact, this is my main card. So what's the cashback like? If you go to the website, the first thing you will see is this. 10% that escalated quickly. Then suddenly, you notice that it says up to. So the 10% only applies in certain cases. Che, but but bear with me here. Let's look at what's the real cashback like. There are three tiers. If you can hit a minimum of $500 or $1,000 every month for three months, you will earn 3.33% on all spendings. And if you can hit a minimum of $2,000 every month for three months, you will earn a 5% cashback. Remember, you need to hit the minimum spending for three months. Yeah? Let's say on the first two months, you hit $500. Then on the third month, you only hit $499. Then, oh, oh Leo, no more cashback for you. Okay, so that's the base cashback. Now, onto the real stuff which makes this card so good. First, you'll earn an additional 5% on your grab expenses. Like if you take grab taxi or order grab food. For example, if you hit a minimum spend of $500, you will earn the basic 3.33% cashback. Then, additional 5% cashback on your grab expenses. So, you'll earn a total of 8.33% on your grab expense. But take note that this cashback does not apply to mobile wallet top-ups here. Otherwise, this cashback will be way too overpowered. Besides Grab, you also earn additional 5% on Shopee, additional 5% on dairy farm stores like Cold Storage, Marketplace, where Atas people shop for Atas groceries, and Giant, Guardian, 7-Eleven, Jason's, and Jason's Deli. On top of that, you will also get extra 1% cashback for your SP bills. So yeah, there's tons and tons of cashbacks there. Wait, what? I hear you want more cashbacks? Yup, that's actually more. I'm beginning to sound like the car salesman meme. Speaking of cars, if you own a car and if you pump petrol at Shell or SPC, you can save up to 24% with this card. I have one more tip for you. Right now, there's not much cars that give cashbacks if you pay for your insurance. Those insurance bills are usually quite expensive, maybe $1,000 or even more. But there's no cashback. How ah? Uh? You have two options, you either suck thumb or you use card up. With card up, you can convert your credit card payments into cash payment. That way, you are able to earn some cashbacks on your insurance payments. If you use UOB1 to pay to card up, you will earn a minimum of 3.33% cashback. Then card up helps you to pay your insurance and take 2.25% card. Leaving you with a good 1.08% cashback. Let's say your insurance bill is $1,000 and you will earn $10.80. It ain't much, but it's honest work. By the way, if you sign up to cut out with my link down below, you can get $20 off your first $1,000 payment. So that's all the cashback stuff. Now, if you are saving your money in the UOB High Interest Savings Account, here's one more good news for you. You will earn an extra 0.25% interest on your savings for using this card. I know it's very little, but it's something. The sign up bonus for this card will change from time to time. So if you sign up to this card, Remember to compare the sign up bonus between websites like MoneySmart and SingSaver. For example, as of making this video, SingSaver gives you $150 cashback if you sign up through them. Terms and conditions apply, of course. Finally, with all the unguard bolas done, let's talk about when you should use this card. You should get this card if you like cashbacks. Duh! And if you are 100% confirmed blast chop, able to hit a $500 spend every month, then this card is the one card for you. Your UOB1 card. Second, HSBC Advance Card. Now, this card is not as godlike as the first card, but the HSBC Advance Card is still overpowered in its own way. This card is much simpler than the first card. If your money spend is $2,000 and below, you will earn a 1.5% cashback. If above $2,000, you will get a 2.5% cashback. So simple. Your cashbacks will be capped to $70 a month. This cap looks a little low, but it's actually quite hard to hit because to hit the $70, 
you will need to spend at least 2.8k a month. Now, on top of the base cashbacks, you can actually earn extra 1% cashback. All you need to do is open a HSBC Everyday Global account, which is free. Then deposit $2,000 fresh funds into the account every month. You may be like, wow, $2,000 ah? I wake up so much money, sia. It may seem hard, but it's actually quite easy to do. You just need to set a gyro to auto transfer the $2,000 into your HSBC account every month. Then another gyro to auto transfer out the $2,000 back into your own account. Then this quest is completed now. Second, you need to charge 5 transactions to this card every month. Again, this is very easy to hit. Just use your credit card as a public transport card. Tap in, tap out 5 times and you are done. The additional benefits to these cards are you will have access to the entertainer app which gives you one for one deals on dining, leisure and travel. You will have up to $200 purchase protection on your e-commerce purchase. Like if you buy stuff from Taobao, then when it reaches you, it is spoiled now. Then if you try to ask the shop to refund, some of them will be like, uh oh, not my problem. Or worse, the item went missing and never reaches you. In those cases, you can claim insurance from Visa. That's what purchase protection is. Pay you back in case something bad happens to your stuff. Next, if you have a car, you can get up to 21% discounts with Caltex and up to 14% fuel savings with Shell. Here's one more benefit. Break down large expenses into installments. Let's say you bought a very expensive stuff, like the LG 86 inch TV which costs $11,000. You can either pay upfront and proceed to eat grass during rain for the next 6 months or you can pay with HSBC card then pay them back in installments. Take note that there's a small ME fee to convert your spendings into installments. For sign up bonus, as usual, check between SingSaver and MoneySmart. Right now, both SingSaver and MoneySmart gives a $200 cashback. So when should you use the HSBC Advance card? Use this card if you are unable to meet a minimum spend of $500 every month. If you can meet $500 minimum spend, then UOB1 card is much better. Otherwise, HSBC Advance is for you. Second, use this card for big expenses. Maybe you're going to buy a TV or you have an upcoming wedding with your BE. That's because this card gives very good cashback for large purchases and is able to break them down into installments. Alright, that's all for this card. But before we move on, if you want to track your investments, check out ShareSite. Now, you may think that ShareSite is just a normal portfolio tracker. But no, no, ShareSite tracks a lot more than just your stocks. First, it can automatically track all your dividends received, so you don't have to enter them manually. Second, if you invest in overseas stocks, it will also track your currency gains or losses. ShareSite will display all this data nice nice for you so that you will know that you are one step closer to financial freedom or not. One more bonus feature, if you are using Interactive Brokers or Saxo, they can automatically track your investments for you whenever you buy or sell. Sounds great, you can sign up using my link at sharesite.com slash investing or just click the link down below. If you have only 10 stocks, you do not have to pay anything. Awesome! But if you need to track more stocks, you'll get 4 months worth of premium account for free. So if you are interested, head over to sharesite.com slash investing to sign up. Alright, let's head back to our video. Third, DBS Refresh. Let's talk about cashbacks. The Refresh card gives you 5% cashback on online spend. 5% for contactless spend and 0.3% for all other spend. You might ask, what's a contactless spend? You may have seen a commercial where the guy is floating around in the supermarket. Then, when he reaches the cashier, he just tilt his credit card. Yeah, that's contactless spend. The paying part, not the floating part. You might think, wow, 5% is a lot. Totomate, there are terms and conditions. First, you need to hit a minimum of $600 spent per month. Second, there's a $20 cap for each category. So it's $20 cashback cap for online spend, $20 cashback cap Visa contactless spend, and $20 cashback cap for all other spend. So even though the 5% cashback is very high, you can only earn a maximum of $60 cashback every month. The cashback is a little stingy in my opinion. It reminds me of those Q10 vouchers where it says 20% off everything. Then when you see the fine print, it says up to $5. This card has 20 point one fuel savings at SPC and 14% savings at SO. It has a lot of other perks like free Walmart Blue SG subscription, extra discounts off Golden Village movie tickets, Palmero spends, Nike store spends, Prism and Reality Reef Arena. There's one more benefit to the DBS card. It can also break down large purchases into installments. And the best part, there's no processing fee if the tenure is less than 6 months. But as I mentioned, this card caps your cashbacks to only $20 per category. If you need to break down large expenses, you might as well use HSBC Advance 
which has a much higher cashback cap. If you are saving your money in DBS Multiplier High Interest Savings Account, this card will give you additional interest on your savings. Which, by the way, the rabbit is also a little stingy now. I guess times are bad, ah. Eh? For sign up bonus, as usual, check between SingSaver and Money Smart. As of making this video, the promo is two hundred and fifty dollars cashback. So when is DBS Refresh card good for you? Use this card if you are able to hit the minimum spend of $600 a month. Second, if you reverse engineer the cashbacks, you will see that the spending amount for each category is $400 before you hit the 5% cashback cap. Let's say if you don't really have online spend and have $800 contactless spend, then this card is not for you. Because you hit the $400 cashback cap, you will only get $20 even if you spend $2,000. In that case, you might as well use UOB1 card instead. But if your spendings are spread evenly to each category, then this card is good for you because you are able to maximize your 5% cashbacks. Next up on this list, we have Citibank SMRT card, which is much more generous than some other card. <coughs> DBS refresh. Now, the special thing about this card is that the cashback doesn't come as cash automatically. Instead, it is rewarded to you as SMRD dollars, which you can then redeem as either cashbacks or vouchers. With that, let's talk about the cashback first. If your total spend is less than $300, you get 4.7% on groceries, fast food, movies, and coffee. For your online spends like Taobao, Q10, Shopee, you get 2.7% cashback. For health and beauty spends like GNC, Guardian, Nature's Farm, NTUC, Unity, Healthcare, Watson's, you get 1.7% cashback. That's for low spenders. If your expense is more than $300, you'll get an extra 0.3% on all your spendings. It ain't much, but it's honest work. To be frank, that $300 is super easy to hit. Your public transport is easily $80 to $100. Phone bills, internet bills, utility bills, another $150 already. Your food, groceries, and Papa Cha will easily cover the remaining amount. So in a way, this 0.3% cashback is almost guaranteed. Next, for petrol, you can get up to 14% savings at ESO and at Shell. Let's talk about additional benefits. If you shop at FairPrice Extra Kalang Wave, you will get up to 7.3% cashback for groceries instead of the normal 5%. Not too sure why it's higher there. Maybe the thing that you suddenly remember you need to buy onions after watching Mayday singing onions at stadium? Okay, that joke was bad. Next, if you shop at Pet Lover Center, Popular Bookstores, and Toys R Us, you can get up to 5% cashback. Next, if you use Citibank One Bill to pay your telco bills, you will also get up to 1% cashback. Just in case you do not know, Citibank One Bill is just a gyro service where they auto pay your bills. Like most cards, the cashback is not unlimited. You can only get $50 cashback per month, which is actually very generous. If you have large purchases, you can also break them down into installments. Take note that there's a service fee for this. If you want to apply to this card, you can apply using my link down below and get $120 worth of cashback when you spend at least 1.2k within 2 months. So, when should you use this card? This card is good for you if your expense is low most of the time because their rewards are good even if you spend below $300. This card is also good for you if you are those kind who spends more on groceries, fast food, movies, and coffee. With that being said, let's go to our next card, Standard Chartered Unlimited Cashback Card. This card is very similar to the HSBC Advance card. Simple, straightforward, no minimum spend, and most importantly, not stingy. As the name suggests, you can get unlimited cashback with this card. Let's go to the cashback. For all your spends, you will get 1.5% cashback and, and that's all. There's no weird loops you need to jump through like other cards. If you use this card at Caltex, you can get up to 20% savings. Like most credit cards, you can also break down large expenses into installments with a one-time fee. The sign up gift for this card is quite generous on SingSaver or Money Smart. For example, if you sign up through Money Smart before 14 March, you can get a Nintendo Switch Lite or $250 cash. So, when should you use this card? This card is good for large purchases. Let's compare this card to HSBC Advance because it's very similar. In terms of cashback, HSBC card wins most of the time because it gives up to 3.5% cashback for expenses larger than $2,000 while Standard Chartered Unlimited cashback gives only 1.5% cashback no matter what. However, HSBC Advance card limits the cashback to only $300 while this card has no limit. So let's say if you are a rich Saudi prince and want to buy a yacht for 80 k then the Standard Chartered Unlimited Cashback card will give you the most cashbacks. So those are the 5 credit cards which I felt were the best. What do you think? Are there any better cashback cards out there? Like, share and subscribe as I'll be posting new videos every Monday and sometimes Friday.